Hi everybody and thanks again for joining us on another wild side walk. Uh, today we're on the uh, slopes of Textiles Country Park which is situated uh, on the eastern side of Macclesfield. This place has got absolutely stunning views out over the Cheshire Plain, over to the Welsh Mountains and Liverpool and looking on the other side you can see right out over the Peak District out as far as Kinder. Um, it's a really lovely well managed country park I'd say it's got a little bit of everything for everybody really. Um, you can either just stay on the tracks at the top, uh, which is really quite suitable for, uh, it's got wheelchair access or, or, or for buggies, um, or you can drop down these paths here and, and, and branch off into, um, into the, well, almost the undergrowth. But the, there are several tracks that run through um, and li you literally won't see anybody. Today's walk starts up in the car park at Tegsnaus and then it's, we're going to walk along the ridge and drop down the eastern side down towards the farm at the bottom. We then climb up a path that takes us up into Macclesfield Forest and we're going to go through Macclesfield Forest and right along the ridge and then cut up across the moors to the fantastic Shutlingslow. After we've done Shutlingslow we're going to come back similar route back down but then through the forest again, back down to the bottom reservoirs and hopefully then have enough energy to climb back up to Tegsnaus, back up to the car park where we're going to get a well-earned cup of tea and a cake and um, yeah, it's a fantastic day so come on dogs, let's get going. <laughs> This dry stone circular viewpoint is a great place to see the 360 views which are on offer here. You're looking for this small track that'll take you down the eastern slopes of the park. It's known as the goat track. But first you'll encounter this wonderful little library in the landscape, which really is a must try experience. Take care when going down this part of the track as it's very steep and it can be quite slippy when the weather's been wet. I've just stopped here because um, I've just spotted some deer uh, in between the trees here. I've uh, taken my coat off so I don't stand out as much. Um, and then I'm gonna pop the dogs on the lead and see if we can get a bit closer to get a better view. Come on guys. Deer sightings are becoming more frequent on the eastern slopes of the park. They've probably moved over from the nearby Macclesfield Forest.
so after all those distractions, we've uh, got down to um, uh, the farm. We're outside uh, Clough House Farm now. Uh, there's a signpost here. We, we, if you take this uh, road up here, there's a track that branches off to the left, which will take you back up to the country park. Uh, we're going this way, which is signposted uh, Forest Chapel, uh, Mac Forest and Shutley's Low. Uh, it's a little lane which then turns into a bridle path and it'll take us right up into the forest uh, and then we'll get to um, Forest Chapel and then along the ridge and then over the moors to Shutley's Low. We've got quite a way to go but after all those distractions uh, we better get a move on. It's at this point that the road then turns into a bridleway. I love this time of year. The light and the colours just seem to blend together, which makes this season truly magical. It's a steep and steady climb up the bridle path, but eventually it'll bring you out into Macclesfield Forest. It is the magnificent Shutlingslow, or otherwise known as the Cheshire Matterhorn, our destination and highest point of the walk. Parts of the forest are quite dense, which can make it quite dark even on the brightest of days. We leave the forest and come on to another bridleway with great views over to Shining Tour and the Cat and Fiddle pub. This takes us down to Forest Chapel, which is right on the edge of the forest. There's only a few houses here, and yes, a chapel. The Church of St Stephen was originally built in 1673, but was almost completely rebuilt around 1834. It's made of sandstone and the stone slated roof was sourced from the nearby carriage. It's a lovely little church which is in a stunning location and is well worth a stop for a quick look around. Leaving the church, head down the lane straight ahead of you. And after a few hundred yards, you'll see the public footpath on your left heading down back into the forest. Follow the path heading up to Standing Stone. The forest is a working forest that is managed by the United Utilities. It was originally created as a royal forest by the Normans to provide an area to hunt wild boar, deer and wolves. 
It's mainly made up of pine forest, but it has around 24% broadleaf woodland, which is gradually being increased. There are several colour-coded walking trails through the forest, which vary in length to suit different abilities. The forest supports a variety of fungi, wild animals, including red deer, and the reservoirs are home to an abundance of waterfowl. Once we've crossed the car park, we do a right onto the road and you'll see the path straight ahead of you. After a few hundred yards, you'll see a small pond on your left. Head up the track to the right of the gate. You'll come out up onto the ridge with great views of the forest and the reservoirs below. This style really isn't that difficult, unless you're an old tired dog. There's a real feeling of space out here, with often big, bold, changeable skies. The path then enters a very valuable and sensitive area for ground nesting birds, so please ensure your dogs are kept on a lead, especially during the nesting season. You'll soon hit a stone pathway with a gate on your left. Once through this gate, the pathway will head up to the slopes of Shutlin's Low. Some of these stones were sourced from a graveyard from a church in the nearby Macclesfield. Shutlingslow seems to rise out from the Macclesfield Forest. It stands at 506 metres above sea level. It's the third highest peak in Cheshire, the first being the nearby Shining Tor. It has amazing views out over the Cheshire Plain and beyond. One of the things I love about Shuttlingslow is its shape. It can appear so different from every angle that you view it. If you avoid weekends, you can quite often have this whole summit to yourself. I love coming here in the summer months late in the evening to watch the sun set over the Cheshire Plain. Come back down the same path, but once through the gate, carry along the stone pathway. This will take you right across the moor and descend back down into the forest. You need to then head left following the sign to Trentabank. You'll see that some parts of the forest have been completely flattened by the infamous beast from the east a few years ago. Occasionally I just like to stop and soak up the atmosphere of the environment around me. There's something quite different to walking in a forest. 
it's probably the sound of the wind in the trees. Well, today really is our lucky day. We've just come across some more deer, but this time also a majestic stag. The forest certainly looks its best at this time of year. This is Trentabank Reservoir, which is probably best known for its heronry. When we finally come out of the forest, we find ourselves at Bottoms Reservoir. The path goes around the side of the reservoir and then crosses a small bridge. Some steep steps will then take you up to Tegsnose Reservoir. We then follow the path across the dam into a small car park and you'll see a path on the right hand side. The path will then take you up into Tex Nose Wood. Tex Nose Wood covers the southern part of the hill and is mainly a broadleaf wood with trees such as oak, beech, hornbeam, holly and mountain ash. It's also a place popular with bird watchers as it has an abundance of bird life such as woodpeckers, nuthatches, flycatchers, tree creepers, thrushes, tits, warblers, buzzards and ravens. It also has a variety of waterfowl on the reservoirs including grebes and tufted ducks. As you climb the hill, you'll pass this beautiful hornbeam tree on your right. It's worth taking a stop to get to know this beautiful tree before the last push up the hill to the end of our walk. Although this has been quite a long walk, with a couple of steep climbs, it really is worth the effort, especially in autumn when the forest and Teg's nose are bursting with colour. I can guarantee you one thing, it will certainly make you feel alive. So there we have it, that's um, Tex Nose to Shutley's Low via Macclesfield Forest. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. We're a bit tired now. You get a fantastic view of the whole walk from this viewpoint here on Tex Nose. We're going to go over now to the um, dog friendly cafe 
and get ourselves some tea and cake. So thanks again for joining us. I hope you can join us again on our next Wild Side Walk. Until then, thanks a lot and take care.